How's it going, everybody? March 14th, 2023. Um, how are you guys doing today? Again, if you guys like what I do, please like and subscribe. It'll really help me out big time. I would really appreciate it. I work really hard for this, but everybody works hard, so I don't deserve any special privileges. I'm just asking. We are driving on one side of town because I want to show you guys how little snow remains just on this side of town. Keep in mind, guys, this is all the same elevation. When we get to the very end up here, this is going to be only eight miles from the Big Bear Dam. I mean, guys, this is this is just look at that. Look at that. The free sled area that I suggest for you guys, that's pretty much wiped out as well over here in the Baldwin Lake area. We are in, in Baldwin Lake. They technically and typically always get less snow. My friend Ben Brissy, who owns bensweather.com, was telling me it's not always like that though because i've been telling you guys it's always like that every storm and i thought i had the video proof to prove it over the past eight years but maybe uh he was saying when we have a backside slider come in then the backside of our town gets hit first and gets hit the most but those are rare those are rare so i was wrong it's not all the time but i mean look at that Look at that. There's just nothing. After we just had 32,000 feet of snow. But we do have a lake in Baldwin Lake, and it's so beautiful. So I hope you all are doing well. I'm very disappointed. I, I, I haven't seen a bunch of people coming up here the past couple days. I can understand today, but it's just very disappointing because our our business owners need it we they all need your help but at the same time I don't, I don't want you guys wasting your money too but I'm pretty sure you can still have a great experience as I said the owner of destination big bear he's a fan of this channel and he's got the biggest lodging company up here um, just a just just a truly amazing guy um, I, I was I was blown away to have someone of that platitude liking what I do and uh, as I said he's I think that they are the largest property rental company up here and stuff like that and uh, they're offering for for all you guys free giveaways like free vacations I know I keep on mentioning it but it's important to me because I do want to help our local businesses out because without them thriving I don't get to live here you guys and I do not want to move back down to Newport Mainly because I can't afford it. <laughs> but I don't want to move back down to Newport. Look at that lake out there. Oh, it's so pretty. It Because it's, it's cloudy, it, it kind of looks like an ocean a little bit. So this place is lakefront property now for a couple weeks. And it's it really is gorgeous. I really wish you guys could see it a lot better. When we're driving back on Highway 18, you'll you'll be able to see it. But yeah, guys, look at how little snow is left over here. And if this storm does bring us the total of about three inches, as they say, this area is not going to see that much. Just like they don't see as much snow typically. But if if that does occur over here, this all this snow over here is going to be bye bye, bye bye, bye bye bye. Anyway, once again, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you guys are staying healthy out there, staying safe, um, getting along with your families and friends and just doing the best you can to enjoy life. We only get one shot at this thing. I know this is a weather channel, not like a, a therapy channel or a, a philosopher's channel, but I do want you guys to be okay. You guys have really impacted my life tremendously. The emotional well-being that you guys have provided me is second to none. Look at that. I, I mean, it's, that is just beautiful. That is just beautiful. Guys, that's a lake that's not here. Not like uh, in a couple weeks, that's not going to be here. It's really, really pretty. That's called Baldwin Lake. I mean, look at this. 
guys, there's just straight ahead. There's nothing. There's no snow. There's, there's no patches of snow straight ahead. There's nothing. Temperature is 41 degrees. This is where we're at here. Baldwin Lake Road. I'll tell you what, if they could somehow keep this lake full year round, it makes this place so much prettier. It really does. It really does. I know years ago, it, it used to have water in it more often from what I have seen. But from my experience here in the eight years I've been here, May 1st will be eight years. May 1st. I just haven't seen much in terms of uh, Baldwin Lake actually having water. But look at how beautiful that is. That's just epic. It's epic, bro. All right, once we get down around this bend up here, we're gonna start getting some, some really nice views of Baldwin. From this angle, this is kind of the end of, of Baldwin Lake. And it's not that deep. It just looks like it's really deep, but it's, it's not. You could walk across it. I don't suggest you try. I'm just saying that if you were out there, you could walk across it. I don't know if I, I told you guys, but I didn't know that this 2023 Subaru has like a built-in internet system. So I just learned that maybe a week ago. And a week ago, I went online or called AT&T. I had to find out so much information. Well, first of all, if you make a right, you're gonna head up this hill, turn left at, at the top, and then you'll start heading down the mountain to, to Lucerne Valley and Apple Valley and Victorville. But yeah, so I called AT&T after it took me forever to find out how to get the internet hooked up. And uh, yeah, it's just like your home internet. Um, you pay a monthly fee for it. It's an internet system in the car so I can use my car's Wi-Fi. You only get 200 gigs per month. They gave me a, a free trial period, which includes a whole gig. And literally like five minutes later, it said, thank you for your trial period. Your trial period has ended <laughs> in five minutes. Couldn't believe it. Um, and I wasn't even like, like, I don't, I think I was, I, I, I was watching or had in the background playing one, one of my YouTube videos just, just to see it work. And within five minutes, it went straight to the, the, the monthly fees. There's Baldwin there. And so, yeah, for, I think it was 200 bucks for the whole year, which is their, their best plan for un unlimited usage. But after the 200 gigs per month, AT&T slows it down big time, which it's, it's, it's just, I can't stand these companies. I, I really can't. That's just, that's just not cool. further we go this direction you guys is when we're gonna see more and more snow and more and more lake I'll tell you what guys this is a gorgeous part of town but this is far away from anything um, for you guys it wouldn't be a big deal at all as I said it's eight miles from the from the Big Bear Dam to the furthest point where we drove over there on the other side of the lake. But once you've lived here for quite some some time, that that eight miles, it's like, if you have to drive to the other side of town, you're just like, oh my gosh, really? All the way? <laughs> but I'm telling you, you guys who live down the mountain, eight miles is nothing for y'all. So if you wanted to stay out here in a, in a, a, a more quiet location, then I would suggest it. 
they don't get nearly as much snow, but look at how beautiful that is. Guys, that's, that's gorgeous. It doesn't feel like you're in Big Bear anymore. So amazing. I love it so much. next drive we do tomorrow if not doing another one tonight then we're gonna head over to the furthest side of town on the other side furthest away from here where there's always significantly more snow and precipitation and once again to correct myself Ben told me that it, it's not always and whatever Ben says is is definitely gospel because uh, He's been doing this up here for for 30 plus years. He's a meteorologist. Um, he did all all the studying. I, I'm just a fan of this type of stuff, of the weather. I really enjoy it, but I'm not too educated in it. A lot of the basic premises about weather, how things work, I do understand, but uh, to articulate it back to others, it's, it's hard for me to do that. Yeah, just keep your eyes on the lack of snow, you guys. So sad. And once again, I never thought I would say this, but I'm actually looking forward to springtime up here. I'm just really, really bummed out for all the business owners up here. It really, really it makes me sad. And if the business owners struggle, the employees struggle. And these people up here are hardworking people. I mean, they are hardworking people, deal with rough conditions, cold temperatures. Man. Just keep your heads up, everybody who lives here. Keep your heads up. Hopefully we have a really good summer season up here, but summer never ever compares to our winter season in terms of generating income for the town never even comes close we do have awesome events up here like uh like not the iron man i can't remember what it's called but like something something similar <clears throat> like a really grueling test of your physical abilities um lots of bicycle races um you've got the fourth of july um some other three-day weekends that really generate lots and lots of traffic up here and we, we really need you guys up here we really do and for those of you who are interested in um, property speculation and stuff like that I've been saying for the for the past year that I think this summer is going to hit this town hard. And of course, all the people that have worked really hard and, you know, um, took risks, invested to better their lives, to have less to worry about financially. Um, I feel sad about that, but there is a there's a huge crash coming. And for those of you who have always wanted to have a place up here if not even just for like a year then this summer might be your time and also the people who are serious about that consider um, this town's trying to pass some Airbnb regulations um, which if they it almost passed this last election if it does pass um, what it was was something that limits the amount of days that you can actually rent out your Airbnb. That's that's the gist of it that that I got from it. I don't know the 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 exact uh, like how it's exactly supposed to go down the stipulations involved, but 
um, regulating your ability to make money like that I mean it's 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 gonna crush a lot of people it's it's truly gonna crush a lot of people but our town then we'll get back to the weather our town desperately needs neighbors you guys because we don't have a lot of neighbors up here from the in the whole eight mile long valley and then some of the offshoot neighborhoods off off to the sides and stuff I think there's a total population, a full-time population between seven and 10,000 people. And the rest is investment properties. And as I said, like for the people that worked hard, sacrificed and want to better their lives financially, like that's awesome for you guys. Like I'm, I'm super happy for you. I want to be in your shoes. <laughs> I really do. I want to give, give my wife the easiest, best life I can possibly afford her. And the only way to do that is to take risks in life. Calculated risks, of course. And real estate investment is a, a typically, if you even know a little bit, I sold real estate in Newport Beach and that area for, for many years for my mom's real estate firm. And uh, I mean, it, it's obviously, there aren't multi-million dollar properties up here there's a couple but it's not like how it is at the beach in Newport where every house is three four four million minimum almost uh, where you can live off of one commission for the year um, but yeah I just want you guys to really want to be here try to find a way where there's a will there's a way and as I said this summer I have, I forecasted last year a major crash as I, I'm not an expert. It's just what I'm seeing, seeing going on. And then seeing these banks in like, like this Silicon Valley bank and a couple other top 20 or 30 banks in the country, um, losing it. Yes. They are being bailed out, which is unfair to all the other business owners who work hard, who they deserve a bailout. But, um, seeing these banks failing right now it it kind of brings us back to 2008 during uh when countrywide financial and other lending institutions destroyed the country because literally there was hardly any regulation you didn't have to prove your income you could just tell them state your income you, you would get stated stated loans you just say you you you, you make this much they they would never check on it um and that's why a bunch of people lost their butts and because of the balloon payments for a year or so they had really low payments they could afford and then all of a sudden the payments ballooned and uh, just killed our country so I'm seeing something like that happening right now I hope it happens to none of you I love you guys with all my heart and I want all of you to be happy and successful but anyway let's get back to the weather a lot of you are like, geez, finally, we're going to mute this guy. He talks too much. I talk because I love you guys. And I, I'm just trying to help as much as I can. And on a selfish aspect of it, it's because I want you guys to come up here and spend money up here. And try to help you guys save. That's why the Destination Big Bear is a great, great, great thing for all of us. Um check this out guys this side of Stanfield cutoff we are getting some lakeage so that is awesome 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 but yeah we're at my weather channel app right now we're going to so this is the, the rest of the night across to the next this is tomorrow it's not looking like as much rain as predicted just earlier today so for our snow that is good that is good um, great news though I should have mentioned this earlier in, in the video I, I ran to a friend of mine Joshua who works at the resorts and I was like snow conditions are like terrible huh He's like, dude, it's actually not as bad as, as, as you would think. So he would never lie. He would never lie to me. Um, 
so when he when he told me that he's someone I, I respect a lot I'm assuming that it's really not that bad I mean it's it's not gonna be like it was a week ago a week and a half ago but um, get up here you guys come up here uh, have, have a great time um, I know we do offer rain checks for the skiing and, and snowboarding once again I don't know exactly what those stipulations are um, I think it's mainly if, if you're on the mountain and it starts to actually rain and not snow, I think you can go immediately to the, the, uh, the customer service area and get a rain check to come back another day. But you guys should, should look into to all this so you, so you can come up. Take, take that risk knowing that it, it might not crush you if worst of the worst happens. side of town you're always going to start seeing a little more snow but most of this snow is from piles of uh, snow plowing you know, we're going to turn right here then I'm going to make a u-turn up this curve up here so we can see if we can get a nice look of snow summit even though I think it's completely socked in right now. This is a new satellite parking lot for our ski resorts that opened up this season. They, just, they tore everything out of there, all the little like sage looking plants and stuff like that to build another parking lot. So we do have plenty of parking up here. But yeah, we're gonna turn around here. I gotta find, find a way. Over there is our beautiful lake. The beautiful lake of Big Bear. So once we start turning left here is when you can usually get one. This is one of the most beautiful views of Snow Summit when it's actually available. I think you can barely see it right there, but let me zoom in just so you can see where it would be right there. Sorry about that, guys. I thought it would be a better view. So we're going to go down partially to... Uh, Big Bear Boulevard and then come back to the Moon Ridge area, take, take a drive down through the roundabouts, which was a horrible idea. Someone wrote me a letter, you guys, saying I shouldn't be talking bad about the, the roundabouts and whatnot. And you know what? Like, that's hilarious to me. I'm just being honest. Like, you shouldn't send me a letter like that. That's, that's like ridiculous. I'm just being honest. I'm, I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you guys. Simply, simply put, I'm here for you guys. I want the best for you guys. And the roundabout's a joke. It looks pretty. It definitely looks pretty. But when there's snow, you can't tell where the curbs are or anything like that. It's it's just, it's just for me, in my personal opinion, it was a horrible idea. But maybe I'll be proven wrong over the first few few seasons. But our first snowstorm, there were three street signs on the roundabout that got ran over. The first snowstorm when the roundabout was put in. It was, it was a really condescending letter. And then they were trying to talk to me about my grammar and stuff like that. Just hilarious, hilarious. Made me laugh. Of course, they didn't have the courage to leave a return address so I could respond. But Don't be that guy, you guys, please. You know, we have a channel full of nice, nice people, not pretentious, just mean people like that.
So I is going to turn right here at the stop sign. <laughs> And we has more snow coming soon. <laughs> Next week, you guys, good chance that we that if if everything works out, we, we could get about six inches of snow next week. So let's keep our fingers crossed because that little fresh layer could could really be great for the ski resorts. But I know I'm, I'm sound like a broken record when it comes to our our business owners, but. Please keep your fingers crossed, you guys, for this snow because I want our business owners to succeed up here. I want the people who are nine to fivers to succeed up here. Okay, this, we are on Park Avenue. I know I, I haven't been mentioning the streets too often. And to the right is Meadow Park. It's a neat place. They have baseball fields, they, they've got dog parks they've got basketball courts look at this beautiful baseball field right here obviously it's covered in snow but it's a beautiful place the lake is just beyond the park here on the right let me see if there's access to the lake because we will go walk out as close as we can a few days ago there was not be able to get through these mountains of snow directly in front of you were blocking off that walking path to get over there so we're just gonna park here and walk out to the lake thank you guys for cruising with me I appreciate it and once again if you guys enjoy what I do please help me out and like and subscribe because it, it'll uh, it does something with the out the algorithm when you like um, it it makes YouTube want to promote the video more because YouTube obviously is about making money that's what the, the company wants to do is they want to make money so if they see a video is being liked then it, it gives the algorithm the idea that hey there's something good here and they're gonna share it with more people so please hit the like button for me guys cold feels like it's about 40 degrees it's not gonna be Here, let me put my I'm wearing my pajama pants suggesting some some sort of a, a, a wind blocker for the microphone on the phone and I really do appreciate that um, I will be getting that as soon as I possibly can I do appreciate the suggestions from y'all oh, look at how this puddle's deep Well, you can see a lot of the lake ice has disappeared.
God, it's cold. cold to stay. Oh, this snow is terrible. I couldn't imagine skiing on this stuff. You couldn't pay me to ski on this stuff, to be honest. I didn't go skiing for free on my birthday you guys because just for all of you who don't know bear mountain and snow summit and since they own snow valley now i'm sure it's it's applicable there too you get a free lift ticket on your birthday you just got to present them your id that proves that that day you showed up is your birthday and you get a free lift ticket it's pretty cool oh whoa 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 <laughs> take this down to the end we're gonna turn right and go to the end of park avenue which if you when you turn left at the stop sign it turns into night avenue k-n-i-g-h-t and to remember what's uh what street you need to turn on to get the shortcut down here instead of staying on big bear boulevard taco bell and denny's are on the corner of night avenue taco bell on one side denny's on the other that way you'll know you're coming up to night once again it's k-n-i-g-h-t snow over here you guys I really thank you guys for allowing me to annoy the heck out of you guys I know sometimes my mouth it's like the energizer battery it just keeps going and going and going and believe it or not I'm a really quiet person I know you guys are shocked to hear that but when I hit record on the camera for some reason I, I feel like you're all right here with me and I love sharing my experiences with you guys up here all right, back on Big Bear Boulevard. turn left on Brownie Lane and take that all the way to Moonridge.
turn right here on Thrush. This is the exit to Snow Summit and s s some more houses up here as well. Beautiful homes. Beautiful, beautiful homes. The further closer you get to the, to the ski resort. Temperature is 40 degrees. This is a place where a bunch of boxers live. Um, Triple G, I believe, was his name. That's where he was staying for a while. This, this town's got a lot of fighters. A lot of fighters, you guys. Because of the elevation, it's a great place to train. Because, you know, in, in fights, you want to have some amazing cardio. Because even having cardio allows you to to withstand some of the blows a lot more as well. Of course, if you get hit hit on the button, it's not really gonna matter, but um, you can take more more punishment when you're a cardio machine. <laughs> Obviously, the goal is to give the punishment, but. All right, so we are coming up to another one of the big empty parking lots for Snow Summit. These are the parking lots, you guys, that if you can find a way in when there isn't anybody here and there is snow on the ground, for those of you who are really concerned about driving on on the streets up here i'm telling you going into one of these parking lots as i said when there's snow um and just getting up to speed um spinning your wheel hitting the brakes all this stuff you will get so accustomed to the feeling in such a such a such a quick time period time frame i i promise you guys it's it, it's a great exercise um it might be nerve-wracking at first i can understand but to feel more confident driving in really bad conditions up here, which most of you are not dumb like me, you guys aren't going to drive in those bad conditions, but if you find that you have to for some reason, then I suggest that you uh, go into these big empty parking lots and learn. All right, so we're on Moon Ridge Road. As I said on our next drive, we will go to the other side of town just to show you guys what's up over there and how much snow there is there compared to where we started this drive. looks pretty once again it really does this whole area right here looks really 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 pretty compared to how it used to look but I was hoping it would have an impact on on driving and it I mean if it's had any from what I've seen I've I know a couple people that have already gotten into fender fender benders on here on the roundabouts So we're just going to follow this roundabout around and then end this video. One thing I, I do want to do is just show you guys the radar so you guys can just see uh, how much weather is in the area and coming this way. So that blue dot, that is where we are. And if I hit the play button, you'll be able to see. So we've got some really heavy stuff about to nail us. Okay, well, hope you guys enjoyed. I really enjoy having you guys here with me. You guys really, really make my life awesome. You guys are so sweet to me. You guys treat me with a lot of respect, and I really appreciate that. I'll always do my best for you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll never let you guys down with how I do things. 
And once again, if you guys enjoy what I do, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Likes are super, super important right away, as I said, because it gets the video promoted through the algorithm out there. At least that's what I've heard. So thank you guys for everything. It's March 14th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. And uh, hopefully in the next week, week or two, we get a decent amount of snow. But we got a bunch of rain coming right now. Take care, y'all. I love you guys with all my heart. And thank you for all the birthday wishes. You guys are incredible. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.